You can tell in the North Carolina game they're they're getting a lot better. You know, North Carolina made a lot of shots, you know. Um, but we have to uh, uh, approach this game um, for us to our strengths and weaknesses because our our strengths aren't like North Carolina's. No. No. I hadn't thought about that. Do you think uh, they'll use Joe Crawford on Jordan sort of a plural guy player for the first of the I don't know. I don't know who they'll put on. Eric. No, there's a, always a silver lining in everything. Um, silver lining in this is Jamarcus has kind of found his way a little bit. He's got his footing um, and starting to play really good. But before Jordan went out, you know, DJ was struggling. Not really struggling. I mean, guys don't struggle. They just, sometimes they just don't play as well. They just. Um, it's not like we have a lot of options. I mean, we played the last three games with three guards. We didn't have a first guard off the bench. And then Brandon McGee's not a guard. Um, neither is Lance Demler. Now, Jamarcus is a guard. Jordan's a guard. Eric's a guard. Armand's a guard. So now we finally have another guard. So Jordan will be our first guard off the bench. But then again, he's our only guard that can come off the bench. You know, I really haven't thought about that. I haven't, I haven't thought one second about where Ratliff will fit in. He'll determine that by practice. But he's tough, you know. That's where, that's why you never, that's why you don't ever pay attention to where a kid is rated. Well, what's, that's why I, I I don't pay attention to uh, recruiting rankings or where's our recruiting class ranked or where's this kid ranked. I could care less, you know. Um, if you wanted to rank Mike out of high school, he's probably number five eighty. I'm being facetious because that whole thing's facetious. But I, I think the reason he's playing so good is because he's so good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to take zero credit for that. Um, he's, he's, a, he's really a very mature young man, works really hard. Um, he's, um, he's, he's a very quiet kid, doesn't say a whole lot. Um, I, I, think he loves, I think he loves playing here. I think he loves his teammates. Loves his coaches. You can tell it every day when you're around him. Uh, I think he's real comfortable. I think that means a lot to a kid like him. Um, and the other thing I would I would say is, um, and, and and Eric would be if you asked him that question, I think he would give credit to his teammates. Um, I think they enjoy playing with him. Um, you know, he he has a lot of freedom, but kids like him should have a lot of freedom. There shouldn't be a lot of structure on a kid like him. But he's it's as every game he's played, I think he's gotten uh, smarter on when to attack and when not to attack. He had eight turnovers against Georgia Tech, um, and we sat down and watched a lot of film on when and when not to attack, shot selection, time and score, game management, um, like all freshmen. Um, but he, he's getting better, I think, in, in all phases. Um, he won't be 100% on Saturday for sure. Uh, he may not be 100%. Um, I, I don't know how long. I'm not a doctor, so I, I won't um, quote or speak for Tim Garl, our trainer, or our doctors. But um, you know, er, Eric's—he's um, uh, a tough kid, and we don't—we don't expect any of our kids to play with injuries. You know, if a kid's injured, injured, we you don't play him. But uh, you know, er, every kid has a pain tolerance that they can tolerate. You know, he, most kids play with some kind of pain all the time. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we will be back on at 12.